Get them. Okay. Okay, everybody, this is the Bluegrass Council of the Blind Community Outing, and our program today is another class on Tai Chi with instructor Rachel Eldridge. So go right ahead, Rachel. We'll get started. Okay. okay, I want to thank everybody for being here to participate. Do we have any people who are here for their first time today or who haven't watched previous uh, videos? Me. <laughs> okay, so we have at least one new person. Okay, well, I will try to um, explain everything in as much detail as possible as we go, but um, part of this is just trying to um, learn about mindfulness and relaxation. Make sure that nobody stresses out trying to understand each of these um, Tai Chi forms. And that's what we call the different movements, their um, forms. And um, the list that I have, there are 23 of them, and we don't have to get through all of them today. Um, a few slow ones. Um, sort of building up to some of the more difficult and we'll wind down at the end and do a short meditation um, toward uh, the class. So I'll get started. So what we're going to do is the commencing form and this one is one we have a couple of different places that we start from. This one's going to be seated with our hands in our lap um, just facing straight ahead. And there are several forms where we're going to face the corners of the room, like in the right and left corner in front of us. So if we want to, we're in a nice little square room, even if we're not, I may address those corners, um, different movements. Um, so for the first one, we're going to do the commencing form and with our hands on our laps. And we're going to slowly raise our hands up and it between one o'clock and two o'clock and our fingers are gonna hang loose. So our wrists are gonna be the highest point. We're gonna breathe in as we raise them up and breathe out as we lower our hands down. Push that hand position so our fingertips are the last thing down to our laps. So it's kind of like we're painting the wall in front of us with the back of our hand and then the front of our hand right down. So we're gonna inhale on the way up and exhale on the way down. So we're going up, 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 and then down, slowly, down, 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 and then we'll go up again, so going up, wrist first to hit that position, one and two o'clock, and down, and we'll do one, and you can probably hear the pitter-patter of my cats in the background, so I'm sorry if they do any, crash anything while we're having our class. So the next thing we're gonna do is one's chest and that one, we are uh, hands in our lap. We're gonna, again, our wrists are the part we raise up. We want our hands to be relaxed. So they kind of come in front of us and then they open out to the side. So we're gonna have our palms at the three and nine o'clock position at our sides. And once we are at this, we're going to kind of come together overhead, not straight overhead, but comfortable shoulders, and then come toward our lats. So they're going to come about to that same two o'clock position before they, when they come up and then open out and the palms come up the ceiling. So I'm at three and nine now, coming up slowly and down, palms move down toward our lats. So more times so hands coming up up opening outward walk at nine o'clock and then back up toward each other then turning downward okay so the next one we'll do is dancing with rainbows so hands are in our left we're going to come up like we did just before except one hand is going to be um Three. So my right hand is at three o'clock. My left hand is overhead, um, elbow bent to where the palm of my hand is kind of facing my ear. I'm not touching my, you want to think about that, like your elbow, if, if it was touching my head, my elbow right at the left side of my head and my palm like toward my right ear on the left hand side. That's, but we just lift them off our head, but they're in that area. So then we're breathing in, 
we go from one side, now I'm slowly going to the other side. So slowly switching sides. So the opposite arm is over the ear and the other hand is palm straight up to the ceiling. So I'm slowly switching and we want to take nice breaths. Um, I also want to say to anyone that's new, if any of these poses is difficult, painful, we can make them smaller. We can do something different, but I don't want anyone to thing that hurts. Now I'm continuing to move while I talk, but we're taking them slow, deep breath, coming back over to my right hand side right now. Let's do one more the left hand side to where that hand is at nine o'clock and then we'll come to our laps. So the next one we'll do is circling. So our hands are in our laps and I'm moving a little quicker just because I want us to any things in as possible, but if anybody feels completely lost or behind or has a question, and ask and I'll answer that. So we're gonna um, circle. So in this one, our hands are on our laps. Now we're gonna um, kind of front of our, reach our hands kind of down in front of our knees. Um, and then we're gonna cross them. So I'm leaning forward slightly, crossing my hands and my hands come front of my face so my hands are coming up palms toward me hands are crossed we're going to make circles on, to each side so once we come up we're going to shift our hand position to where we're going to be facing my right hand facing the wall um to the right left hand face we're going to come down and make circles to the sides of us but they're going to come back in front of our knees cross our hands come up and we're going to just do circles like this um, circles more or less to the front of us, but to the side. So two circles, each hand is drawing a circle. So we're breathing in as we out, as our hands come down. So my hands are back in front of my knees, crossing up in front of me, coming up and making big circles here. Now this is up our shoulders. I'm back down to my knees, coming up. And I'm trying to show you about this bit while we're moving together. Um, so that looks for a lot of the other positions. So coming up, this will be our last one and around, and we're going to meet back with our hands and our lats. Okay. The next one is called rowing the boat. And these are circles that are kind of going to go. So um, we're going to reach back with our palms toward the wall. So we're going to reach back. And we're going to rotate because we can't keep back. They're going to kind of come to the sides. And then our hands are going to be pointing at the wall in front of us overhead, completely overhead. And then they're going to come down toward our laps. But then we're going to go just out our laps. So they can reach down, back. Then they're our turn as we come up. Right where it feels uncomfortable, the hand is naturally going to want to turn. And then they come down toward our laps. Let's do a couple more. So I'm reaching back as they come up behind me. They have to turn palms toward the wall in front of me. And now they're coming down toward my. Um, let's do let's do one more. I'm in the I'm already here. So reaching back and this will be our last one turning and down. So from this point, we're going to do the moon. And this one, we have, again, our hands are in our laps. We're going to have one hand um, kind of cupped as if we're holding an apple in it or an orange. Think of something like that, like a small circular object. And we're going to take our right hand with our pretend object in it, and we're going to hold it up toward the left corner of the room and face that direction. So we're going to face that direction. We breathe in. And... We're going to come down and that hand is going to be in our lap. Then we switch hands. So we put the moon in our other hand and we want to raise it up toward the opposite corner. So now my left right corner and I'm pointing my face toward that corner as well. So I'm coming slowly, switch hands, and then right hand comes up that corner. And this is one where our breath can be nice and slow. I'm coming back down. Um, we want to breathe in on one side, breathe out toward the other. So now my palm's up to the right side. Let's see, palm up as I go toward 
the left side. And we want to just take deep breaths while we're doing this. I'm back in the center, switching again, left hand to right corner. And coming back down, switching hands back to the left corner. So we'll put both of our palms down. And the next thing we'll do is punching. So we're going to have our arms cut our sides um, with our um, arms up down to our elbows, and our rib cage there at the sides. And we're going to have our fists facing in front. Now, my right hand is going to be palm down in a fist, and my left hand is palm up in a fist. So we're going to slowly punch forward. And as we extend that hand, palm down on the right side, we start to come in. As we start to come in, we rotate the wrist, and that left hand comes forward as we're bringing the right one in. So we're going to slowly breathe into this, and we just switch which hand comes in the front, and we switch orientation of it so the hand that's in that palm is facing and the hand that's out is palm down toward the floor and I'm talking while I'm punching I am bringing my right fist forward bringing that in it's all the way in and now my left hand is all the way forward so one is fully in the other is fully out and so there's this flow we don't really hesitate once we're fully extended because a lot of the work in type the the movement and not the, the being still we just lock it in for a split and I'm switching now my left hand is in front and switching right hand is in front and to the left hand and this can be our last one of these so we'll come our hands on our laps and um, the next one is another alternating uh, move this form we're going to do in waist pushing palms so similar to the last one but we're going to have um, our palm forward like a stop sign hand um, but our right one is going to go toward the corner of the room so and we're going to alternate but we're going to do this one completely at a time right hand toward the left corner coming in and now I'm turning and my left hand is in the right corner and I always face the direction the situation so I'm going to face that corner as well so right hand to left corner, facing that corner and coming in and now I'm going to the right hand corner and in let's do another on each side so at the left palm facing that back and corner and back to our laps okay so the next one we're going to do we're going to work up um we're going to do scooping from the seat and it's simple circles that we did in the beginning, circling the arms, but in this situation, we're going to pretend scooping some water out of a creek, and if you don't want to bend that deeply, you can pretend there's a bucket of just in front of your knees in front of you. So we're going to reach our hands forward at whatever level is comfortable, act like we have water in our hands put together, come up toward our chin, but then at that point, our hands are going to switch places, and our hands are going to be in front of us and then we're gonna gonna come in just in front of our shoulders so we get to kind of shoulder blades together as our palms are facing the wall in front of us so I hope that I hope that feels good I'll, I'll go through it again so we're gonna reach forward and we can kind of reach out and forward like we're under this water palms are hands are together palms are facing but then they come toward the chin as like we're gonna get a drink but then I feel I feel like I surrender. So palms are facing the wall, hands are close to our shoulders. It's comfortably get them. So reaching out, and together, coming up, and then I think about it, I surrender. So we're gonna do it again, reaching out, together, coming back up, and surrender hands. Let's do more. So reaching, 
kind of out and downward, like we're going to scoop up the coming up toward our chin and I surrender hands. Okay. So the next one that we'll do is bouncing. And we're going to, there's a, we're going to use our right hand first, be kind of similar to the way we lifted our hand in the very beginning at the commencing pose. So we're going to, but we're going to lift that right hand up until it's about right. And at the same time, we want to lift our knee off the ground, our right knee. But on that side, we're going to hold it up and, it, and then come down. So we lift that other hand up, the wrist hanging loosely, and that knee comes up off the ground. So we just feel a little shift of balance, but we're not really at any risk of tipping over. So that's always good. Um, so we're going to go back to the right side, and we're going to lift and slowly come down. And that's a part of it, too. We don't want to just drop it. There's control and working those muscles in slowly coming up and slowly coming down. So I'm up on my right side slowly and slowly let that down with control and slowly on the left side. And a lot of these, I may not say it to every movement, but I'm going to come up one more time on each side. So right hands come, right side's coming up and down and left up and down. And when we think about our breath on this, because we're slowing our breath down, trying to relax, um, I always think on, on a lot of these, when it's the same movement on each side, we just want to inhale on one side and exhale on the other. But if there's something more specific or a longer movement, I'll always try to talk through that part as well. Um, so move to the next one. So the next ones we're going to do are the, I'm going to call them the ball forms. So we're going to, act like we're holding a ball in our hands in front of us. Like it's, um, I guess about the center of our chest level is where the ball is. And it's about the size of a basketball or something like that. And we have our hands kind of in a relaxed position. They're not tight. They're not um, tensed up trying to grip anything that, that is here. They're just kind of relaxed. So my top hand is curved a little. Fingers are kind of hanging down. And bottom hand fingers are a little bit pointed up, relaxed. So in, in this position, we're going to turn as if we're going to show this ball to someone in each corner. So we're going to turn and the center of the ball is going to follow our right, our right elbows on top. We're going to go toward the right. And the center of that ball needs to be about at that corner. And we're going to face that corner. So we'll switch and slowly bring that ball to the other corner. And switch slowly bringing that ball into the right corner and switch hands. So we always want to follow the elbow that's on top switch. So the right elbow, if the right hand is on top, we kind of go the direction of that elbow into the corner, our left hand on top. We follow that. We're in the left corner. So we'll do one more on each side. Going toward the right corner and slowly into the left corner. Okay, so the next one we'll do is called the single whip. So again, we're starting in our ball. Our right hand is on top. So I'm going to make a little bird's beak out of that. So my fingers and fingertips and my thumb come together and my hand is level with the rest of my arm and it comes forward straight in front of me with my fingertips pointed down like I'm going to drop a penny in front. And as I do that, my left hand is palm facing the wall on the left. So straight out at shoulder height at, about, at the nine o'clock level. So when we come back to our ball, the left hand is going to be on top and the right hand is going to be on the bottom. So I'll talk us through it again and then we'll move through it. So bird speak with the left hand, move that forward. At the same time, we face the, the hand that is going to our right palm toward the wall. And slowly come back to our ball. So we'll do that again. So bird's beak comes to the front, directly in front of us. Palm toward the left wall, straight ahead of us. Our face is that direction. And then we'll come back to the center with the left hand on top. We'll do one more on each side. 
Is that a bird speak? Calm. And the calm is to the right. Back. And one more on the left. So top hand becomes bird beak. Other hand, palm toward the left side, toward the left wall. And back to our ball. Okay. So from here, see, I'm going to skip a couple of things. So I want to make sure we get through it because I know we're not going to get all 23 at one time necessarily. Um, we'll do Fair Lady Works at Shuttles. So we're going to have our right hand on top of the ball at this point. Now we're going to take our hand that's on the bottom and it's going to come up the back of the hand to the top of our forehead. So like my thumb is at about my hairline and facing the wall in front of me. And then I take my right hand and I hold it at shoulder height toward the wall, toward the corner on the left, the left corner. So I've got one hand up toward my forehead. Thumb is about at my hairline. Right hand is in the corner. So when we come back to the ball, the hand that's on my forehead becomes the top of the ball. The other hand is the bottom. So now that we're at the center, the bottom hand comes up, thumb is kind of at my hairline, and palm toward the right corner, straight ahead, shoulder height, and come back to our ball. So then hand up to forehead, palm toward the corner, and we face that corner, back to the ball slowly. And then bottom hand comes to forehead and palm toward the right side. And back to the ball. So we'll do one more side. So left hand comes up, right hand to the corner. And back to the ball. And then bottom hand, right hand comes to forehead, other palm toward the corner. And then back to ball. Okay. Now that can be one of our trickier ones. I want to make sure we do repulse the monkey. So um, this one, we, we're again with the ball. Right hand is on top. I try to keep the right hand on top when we're starting, just so we're in the same place. And I'm going to bring that hand directly in front of me, palm down. As I do that, the bottom hand is going to sweep behind me. So I'm going to kind of take that hand, turn it so that my palm is down and it's reaching behind me toward the back corner um, on the left side. And it's going to come up kind of like a swimming move overhead. Now my palm is, is, when my hand is up, palm is facing the wall in front of me and it comes back slowly. And now I'm back at the ball position. The top hand is the uh, the left hand that swept up, the bottom hand is um, the one that was straight ahead. And I know that one's tricky. It's hard to describe. I have it written a few different ways. But now the left hand is going to reach straight ahead, shoulder high, palm in front. The other hand reaches kind of, think of it as kind of back, up, and around. Kind of like a, it'll feel like a swimming stroke when it happens quickly. And I come back to the ball. So the bottom hand kind of comes out to the side, reaches kind of behind us like we're going to grab something on a table, palm down, and then that hand rotates as it comes up. And then the palm comes back toward our lap, and we find ourselves holding the ball. So we'll do that another time on each side. So reaching forward with the left hand, reach kind of back up and come back around. And while we're doing that, the other hand just automatically kind of is it becomes the bottom of the ball. We want them to both move at the same time. So hand is reaching forward on with the right side, back with the other hand, coming up back and around. In the speed of this, we want it to be about the speed of a nice deep breath. So if there are any questions about that one, because I try to Think of different ways to explain it while we're moving, uh, but that one is a that one is a trickier one. Um, let's see, there's another one that I want to make sure we get. Um, let's do grasping the peacock's tail. Now that is the hardest one that we're going to do, so I want to make sure we get that in here. So we're going to have our right hand on top, left hand on the bottom of our ball. We're going to kind of 
swoop our hands to the left. So both hands are gonna go toward the left and I'll try to explain as we do it, how it kind of feels. So the left hand, we're gonna kind of hinge at the elbow here. It's gonna come directly to the side and slowly our uh, wrist comes up first, hands hanging and the right hand is gonna be palm up as we go toward the left. And we just lift it about um, a little higher than shoulder height, maybe about two o'clock. So we reach up, then we come down toward our laps and like toward our laps just in front of us. We cross our hands, so their palms up and um, we have our hands crossed. So we come back toward our, bring them towards your body a little bit, like just in front of your chest. Then you reach them into the left corner. So the back of the hand is gonna go toward the left corner with our hands still crossed. Then they come back to our, toward our hearts basically. Then we're gonna reach palm forward into the same left corner. And then we come back into our ball with the left hand on top and the right hand on the bottom. Now we'll go through this again on the right side. I'll try to go into detail and explain it again because this is the trickiest one. So we're gonna kind of swoop upward with our wrist coming up no higher than two o'clock. The other hand kind of follows it, but it's palm up. Now we're gonna bring our fingers down kind of in front of our knees. We cross our hands here. So our palms are, our hands are crossed uh, and our palms are up. And that comes back toward us, toward our hearts. Then we're gonna reach those crossed hands into the corner on the right side, into the right corner, and we face that direction too. We come back toward our hearts. Then we push palms forward into the corner, the same corner into the right side. And then we come back into the ball with the right hand on top. So let's do this again on each side. So I'm just gonna say we're gonna swoop up. It's not an exact science, but then we come down, fingertips are the last thing down, put our hands together and then put back of our hands toward the left corner, come back and then push our palms for the left corner, then back to the ball with the left hand on top. And then again, we're gonna go to the right side, kind of swooping up, coming down, cross the hands, push that into the right corner, come back toward our shoulders, toward our heart, and then push into that corner and then back to the ball. So we're, we're winding down. It, uh, <laughs> it's gonna get easier from here. So from here, um, we'll do a few wind down um, things from here. So first off, we're gonna take our ball and we're gonna have it in front of us. So our hands are gonna come directly overhead, facing each other as if we're holding a ball a small, you know, a ball between our hands directly overhead. And we're going to turn that ball. And if you don't have as much mobility, you don't have to make a big circle. But I'm going to turn this ball, take the ball, and I want to make, draw a circle in front of me with this ball. So I'm at three o'clock, I'm at six o'clock holding this ball, nine o'clock, and back to 12 o'clock. So we're going to just make some circles. And you, your clock can be smaller. I'm making a big I'm making a big circle, but you can have a small circle just in front of you, like you're drawing it on a wall in front of you. So I'm back up. We're going to go four times on each side. So I'm on my third circle. Now I'm going on my fourth circle, going this direction. And I'm just holding my hands like there's a real ball here. Now I'm going the opposite side. I'm going toward the left first. So nine, six, three, and 12 slowly. So I'm back up. So that's one. And I'm at six o'clock now on the second one, three o'clock and 12 o'clock. So we'll do two more, just making big circles. And last one, and back to the top. Okay, so from here, we'll do hands in our laps again, and we'll do um, spreading our wings. That's like our commencing pose, but it's gonna be, um, let's see. Well, I'll do spreading our wings. This one's a little different, but it feels really good. So spreading our wings, we're gonna start with prayer hands in front of us, like at our chest. So thumbs to the chest in prayer position. Now we're gonna turn our hands so our fingertips are pointing to the wall in front of us. 
So they're gonna straighten all the way up with our palms together, straight in front of us at shoulder height. And then we're gonna open the hands up like we're gonna give a big hug. So palms facing the wall in front of us, you can kind of give a shoulder squeeze here if you want. And then palms are gonna come back together slowly and then back to prayer position. So we'll do this a couple of times. So pointing fingers toward wall in front of us, straightening, open up. I open them a little bit extra just so to get a little extra squeeze but in the shoulder blades and then they're coming back together and back into prayer position. And in this one, I try to think about inhale as fingertips come to the wall, exhale as we open up, inhale as we bring them together and exhale as they come back into prayer position. Okay. So the last, so the last two, we'll do fly like a wild goose. So fly like a wild goose. We're gonna, it's just like, that's the one that's just like the commencing pose, except we're at three and nine o'clock. So we're starting on our laps. Our hands are gonna come to the side. Our wrists are gonna come up first and our fingers kind of hanging relaxed. And we're gonna come to about between one and two o'clock, switch our hand position. So now our palms are, um, facing the walls to the sides of us. Fingertips are the last thing to come down slowly. And then we open back up. So wrist first coming up, breathing in and breathing out as we come down. So coming up, we'll do that a couple more times. Up and down. And one more. Come up and down. Okay. And the last one that we'll do, we'll do pressing palms. So we have our hands in our lap again. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to have our palms up in front of us. So my thumbs are facing the wall in front of us. Um, palms are up and our fingertips are only, they're overlapping just slightly, like up to the first knuckle overlapping. So they're touching each other. And we're gonna breathe in and our hands are gonna come up just straight up to chin level, about chin level as we inhale. And then we switch and our palms come down toward our laps again as we exhale. So think of just the deepest breath that you can comfortably take. So breathing in, palms coming up toward our chin and out, exhale as they go toward our laps. So inhale. Exhale down. So we have our palms coming up. Flip them at the chin level and they're coming down. Let's do one more. Inhaling and exhaling. Okay. And that's what I have today. How do you all? feel about that. I'll find our meditation on here. Um, but in between, I'd like to, any input that you all have, that would be very useful for me. I tried to go a little faster because I know um, I want to get as much in as possible, but I also want you to understand it. And I didn't want anybody new to feel left out. So how did you all feel about that? I thought it was great. We covered so many more than we normally do in one of these sessions that I've attended anyway. And um, I just wanted to say that I think it'll be important to rewatch this on tape because uh, um, especially if you're new, um, but but even me, I, I, I need to see it again. And I think it'll help to see it at least one more time. If you've gotten just, you know, a portion of it, I think you're doing good. Yeah. Okay, because I didn't want to run off and leave you and it's not supposed to stress anyone out. So if you do your best and you're doing you're trying and everything, I want you to feel like um, there's no pressure to be perfect in doing this because the whole point of this is to bring relaxation. And um, I know some some folks want to join into the Tuesday group that is also done with um, a caring place. So I wanted to. Um, try to get as many in as possible so that we could do it. But I was also trying to describe it very carefully. But if I missed anything, also anybody can email me with questions if they need to. 
I want to make sure that that's clear. If anybody has any questions about where, you know, where one hand is when something else is happening, I want to make sure that that is um, a question you feel like you can ask me while we're um, doing these. So, um, and I will have these posted to YouTube later tonight if I can. Um, for anybody who wants to watch them again, if you go to our um, our website and then go to our YouTube channel listed on our website, you can access them off of off of there. So anybody who's uh, wondering how you can rewatch them on YouTube, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, uh, I'm not sure if we're sending out um, links to it in our, our newsletter or not, but um, um, that would also potentially be another way. So. All right. Well, if you're ready, I'll go ahead and stop the recording and you guys can get on with the um, with the meditation. OK, thank you. OK, um, 